Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about how to read fabric construction in clothing industry. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. How to read fabric construction? How to determine GSM of woven fabric from its construction? How to read fabric construction? How to read fabric specification with the construction of 17 to 54 14 by 20s of 100% cotton 7 ounce ring denim? In the tech pack, the buyer gives details of the fabric specification for its construction and composition fiber content. The specification is similar to the description mentioned above, 7 ounce ring denim, 17 to 54, 14 by 20s, and 100% cotton composition. Fabric construction with this description is read as the following 17 to 54 is read as ends per inch are 70 and picks per inch is 54 or EPI into PPI equal to 70 into 54. This means that you take a specimen of 1 inch into 1 inch of this fabric, you will find 70 numbers of warp yarns and 54 numbers of weft yarns. If you don't understand the terms, ends means warp yarns and picks means weft or filling yarns. How to read fabric construction? 14 by 20 defines yarn sizes used in the fabric. Here, warp yarn size is 14 any and weft yarn size is 20 any. Both warp and weft yarns are single ply. 100% cotton fabric composition, fabric is made of 100% cotton fiber. You might also find another form of fabric construction like 32 by 2 into 16 by 128 into 60. Here, yarns count are mentioned first and then EPI into PPI is mentioned. How to determine GSM of woven fabric from its construction? To determine approximate GSM grams per square meters of a given fabric, you can use the following formula. In case different counts of warp thread or weft thread are used, then this formula will not give you correct GSM. It is also known as conversion formula from fabric construction to fabric weight. Fabric GSM equal to EPI divided by warp count plus PPI divided by weft count into 100 plus cream percentage into 0.2327. For example, construction of a poplin fabric is 40 into 40 by 124 into 64 and warp and weft crimp is 6%, then GSM of this fabric will be GSM equal to 124 divided by 40 plus 64 divided by 40 into 100 plus 0 0.06 into 0.2327 GSM equal to 109.43 Cream percentage of warp yarn equal to length of the warp in straight condition minus length of the warp in fabric formation divided length of the warp in fabric formation into 100 Cream percentage of weft yarn equal to calculate with weft length same as above method. Another method to determine GSM is with different multiplying factors. Woven fabric GSM equal to ends per inch into warp cream factor divided by warp count plus picks per inch into weft cream factor divided by weft count into 23.5. If in the above formula 1.1 and 1.04 are warp and weft cream factors respectively, now by putting down all the value from a sample, we can easily determine GSM value for a woven fabric. 
GSM calculation method for knit fabric. We can use either of this formula to determine the GSM for knit fabric. Fabric GSM with direct count tax equal to cos per inch into wheels per inch into stitch length in mm into yarn count in tax into 0.001549. Fabric GSM with indirect count tax equal to cos per inch into wheels per inch into stitch length in mm into 0.9155 divided by yarn count in any. Any is an indirect measure of linear density. Courses and wheels. Courses are the total number of horizontal rows measured per inch. The course is a horizontal row of loops formed by all the adjacent needles during one resolution. Wheels are the number of vertical columns measured per inch. Stitch or loop density is the total number of loops in a unit area such as per square centimeter or per square inch. Stitch or loop length is a major factor in a knitted fabrics overall quality affecting dimension stability, drape and appearance etc. Loop length is the length of yarn contained to form a loop. Thank you for watching. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Please comment your valuable thoughts. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when I post a new presentation. Bye, have a good day.